Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. And all the bad news we've been talking about and the uncertainty with Atlantic City, one thing is certain, and it is good news. Stockton University is coming to town. Dr. Harvey Kesselman is the president of Stockton University. Sir, thank you for doing this. I appreciate it. But my pleasure. What are your plans now for Atlantic City? As most everyone is probably aware, uh, we have every intention of opening up a branch campus, hopefully break ground in the next month or so, uh, month to two months to break ground in what is commonly referred as the Gateway Project, which is the Stockton Atlantic City campus. It's on Albany Avenue as you come into the island off of 322. Uh, there are three lots there, which is old Atlantic City High School site. We intend to build a 56,000 square foot academic building on that high school site. Then housing gorgeous residential facilities for 522 on the block on the boardwalk. And then next to that, a parking garage uh, that will have 800 spaces. South Jersey Gas will have 200 employees, something near 200 employees on, a, on the top of that parking garage. And then the lot next door, which will, which will remain a parking lot, could though, down in, if we grow and if we're successful, which we have every intention of being, uh, have the possibility of adding additional residences there. I know what Atlantic City gets out of this, and I know Mayor Guardian is excited about this because he sees higher education yes. as a big part of Atlantic City's future. What do you get out of it? Well, we are deeply committed to Atlantic City. I, I'm not sure everyone is aware how long we've been. We were founded in Atlantic City uh, at the Mayflower Hotel is where we began, and I actually was in that very first class as a student. And even now, we have some 1,000 students almost a weekly in the city taking courses at Carnegie, are working and doing their service learning and internships in all of the school districts, social service agency, in government. We're involved at Dante Hall. We had, I think, uh, presentations, theater, music, and the like from more than 8,000 visitors last year alone. And we, of course, have our arts garage in the Wave, uh, Wave parking lot uh, near the, um, uh, the walk. So, I mean, our presence in Atlantic City is nothing new. Now we would just want to expand it to the point where where we have a full branch campus. We believe every student that comes to Stockton, and we're not that small little uh, institution in the Pines anymore. We have not, just under 9,000 students. We have 40 some graduate programs, of which 15 are graduate programs. So we have a large body of students who, get, who have an opportunity to get both an urban environment education as well as a rural uh, in the middle of the Pinelands. So we're, we're honored to be part of the, the renaissance of Atlantic City. And you believe that that eventually Atlantic City is going to make your university that much more attractive. No question in my mind about that. Atlantic City is a jewel. And, and we I know what it's going through now, but it has gone through tough times before. But this state for years has relied on Atlantic City. And now it's going through some troubled time. I think all of us have to give back and be part of that. Part of a inst public institution higher education's mission is to give back to the community. And this is one way to do it. But we in no way can be the panacea for all the ills. But what we can do is provide an anchor in the city to bring in thousands of students into the cities that helps generate enthusiasm and energy. And it's through that enthusiasm and energy that good things will happen. Congratulations Thank on the you, Branch Larry. Campus. Thank you. Good luck. I, I, I welcome you, you to the groundbreaking when it takes Oh, I'd place. love to go. Okay. Dr. Yes. Harvey Kesselman, the president of Stockton University. When we come back, we will talk to the man of the hour. Harry Hurley, this dinner is put on by him and it supports charity. He'll talk about that when we come right back on Jersey Matters.